You can also use um, a Q-tip dipped in makeup remover or, you know, makeup wipe, but I just like using a tissue. Now for my foundation, I'm going to use MAC Studio Sculpt in the shade NC25, and I'm going to apply it with my MAC 131 brush, and I'm just going to kind of pat it on, like a stippling uh, technique. Make sure to get under the eye. And then just kind of buff the edges. And I'm going to apply it on my lips as well to act as a base for my lip colors. Then I'm going to use the same MAC 131 brush to apply my concealer. This is Laura Mercier Secret Concealer in number 2. And I'm going to apply that under the eye to cover up dark circles and to brighten the area. Then I'm going to set everything with MARC Powder Buff Foundation in buff. And you can use the MARC Magnificent Powder instead if you want um, just the matte finish without the extra coverage. And I'm using the MARC Powder Buff uh, brush to apply. And I'm just going to just lightly set it. Using the um, powder foundation to set gives it a little bit more of a kind of extra coverage and a little bit more like a, just an overall uh, matte powder look, which is what I'm going for. Next, I'm going to highlight the inner corner with Lime Crime Magic Dust in Nymph. It looks like a you know, shimmery white, but it actually has a lot of gold in it. And I'm going to use um, a MAC brush number 224. It's just a fluffy crease blending brush. And I'm just going to dot that right at the inner corner. It's kind of like a warm gold color. So the last thing I need to do for the eyes is fill in my brows. And before I used um, brow pencil to fill them in, but lately I've been using a brow powder. And I noticed it just looks a little bit more natural than with a pencil. Um, and so lately I've actually been using this sample that I got from Sephora.com when I you know, made an order and you can uh, pick your free samples. And this brow powder is by Anastasia. It's the brow powder duo and it comes with two uh, different colors. One is for brunettes which is what I'll be using and the other one is for blondes so it's a little bit lighter. And um, so far I mean, really like this uh, brow powder uh, a duo. Um, it doesn't, you know, apply too cakey or like too strong of a color. Um, it's not too powdery either, so it doesn't get, you know, all over. Um, and it lasts, you know, pretty long on the eyebrows. So, um, but before I apply the color, I like to apply a kind of brow wax to hold the brows in place and to help um, the brow powder to stick on a little bit better. So today I'm using a MAC brow finisher. Um, it's like a wax in just like this pencil form. And basically I just kind of lightly glide it on the brow to kind of let the, um, to set the brow uh, hair in place. And I like to do this before I put the powder um, because if I put after it might remove some of the color. And for the brow color, I'm going to use Shirimura 6OB brush, which is an angled eyebrow brush. And I'm going to use the darker color of the two brow colors. Um, it's like a kind of dark charcoal brown. Um, the lighter one is more like a taupe brown, and it's good for um, 
if maybe you want your brows to be a little bit lighter, like say your eye makeup is more on the heavy darker side and you want to kind of lighten your brows. And I'm just going to, just like how I use a pencil, I first kind of outline the shape of the brow to kind of define it. So I got the tail of the brow and then underneath, just make these kind of short lines. Just like that, and then I blend the, the line and kind of soften it by um, flicking the brush upwards to kind of fill in empty spaces. And then kind of extend it outwards a little bit towards the tail of the brow. Now that my eye makeup is done, I'm going to do the cheeks and I'm first going to contour using MAC Definitive Sculpting Powder. It's a dark, um, warm brown color and I'm going to use a Mark Angled Contour Face Brush to, up, uh, to apply. And I'm just going to apply it um, near the hairline. I'm not going to you know, pull it all the way into the cheeks because I want a little bit more of a subtle contouring. So I'm just going to kind of Blend it back and forth under the cheekbone. Just right here, kind of like half of the cheek area. Make sure to blend really well. Then I'm going to highlight the cheekbone using uh, the Lime Crime Magic Dust Powder in Nymph. And I'm going to use a fluffy kind of um, highlighting brush to apply. I'm just going to apply it to the top of the cheekbone to give just a nice kind of gold highlight. Then for the cheek color, I'm going to use this um, kind of matte brown color. Uh, it's called Worldly Glow and it's from Mark. It's in the one of the old uh, Flip For It palette and um, you can just you know use something that's similar. And I'm going to use a Trish McAvoy uh, 2B blush brush to apply. And just on the apples of the cheek, just a very um, light amount of color. I don't want it too strong since the eye makeup is um, quite heavy and dark. And it has a little bit of a like, reddish tone to the um, blush color. Now for the lips, you can choose something that's a little bit more on the lighter side if you want the eye makeup to stand out and be the like, main focus of the look. But I want the lips to be kind of bold and have a like a darker, deeper color um, since you know it's fall, winter and just something a little bit more dramatic. So I'm first going to uh, outline and fill in the lips using MAC Mahogany Lip Pencil and it's a kind of brownish red color. Now for the lipstick, I'm going to use one of these colors that's in the Mark Super Flip uh, kit. And I'm going to use this lipstick. It's called Racy and it's kind of a tomato-y red. Um, it's not too bright or too dark. Um, and it's in a kind of lipstick formula, so it's really creamy. There's no shimmer in it. And I'm just using a uh, Kevin O'Quan lip brush. You can use you know, any lip brush that you like. And I'm just going to apply it all over the lips. Now since I used a dark uh, reddish brown lip pencil and you know, fill in the entire lip, it changes the lip color to a more deeper red color. But if you want um, your lips to be a little bit you know, more red, a little bit sheer and not as bold, then you can definitely skip the lip pencil. And that's it for the look. I hope you guys like it and I hope um, you like this look that I created using the Mark Super Flip Color Kit. Um, I'll definitely try to do more looks using this palette. And you know, thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye bye.